Hi, I'm Suzanne Baraglio, the jewelry artist behind Una Artesana. I've always been really interested in folklore and mythology as a child. Growing up, I was very into Egyptian mythology, but it was only recently that I found out that the Philippines had its own unique mythological pantheon. So during the pandemic, during lockdown, I started researching, reading all about our folklore and our stories, and it just so happened to coincide with my newfound hobby of bead weaving. And so I combined the two to create pieces by those stories. My very first collection, the first pieces I ever created for Un Artesana, was inspired by the Visayan mythological pantheon how the sun stars and moon were created um, and I chose this folktale because I'm from Cebu and I really wanted my first collection to share all about our unique culture and our mythology growing up as I mentioned I was very into world mythology but sadly so many Filipinos like me especially younger ones growing up have no idea about our own unique mythology. We grew up with Greek or Romans, but we hardly knew any of our own. So my work is really an invitation for people to know, to learn more about it, um, to decolonize and reconnect with our culture. So my jewelry pieces are created through beadwork. So I use two techniques, bead weaving and French beading. So with bead weaving, those are individual seed beads that are sewn together, stitched together with a special beading thread. And for French beading, that's a combination of beadwork and wire work. So the beads are strung on a wire and they're shaped into the different shapes I create, typically flowers. So the biggest challenge for me of doing beadwork is just where I'm based, the Philippines, we don't have really much in terms of um, the materials needed. So typically the beads you find in, in local craft stores are, th they're not very evenly made and so they're difficult to work with because with bead weaving you do want them to be uniform. So it took me a long time to source the beads I need. These are Japanese beads and as well as the stringing materials because you can't just use any kind of thread because the tension that holds the beads in place would be too much for sewing thread so i really had to look for a source for um, the correct beading thread to use and really it was just sourcing the materials that is the most difficult part of uh, the work i do but the most fun part is really getting to create with my hands it's um, I love being able to read a story and see how I can interpret those into new pieces. So I really like to think of my pieces as tangible and wearable illustrations of these stories. Like and follow my Facebook and Instagram page at una underscore artesana and you can also visit the website at una-artesana.com. Hi, I'm Suzanne Baraglio. Catch Una Artesana on Kita.